hey what's going on so today i'm just going to walk you through when you're on your comlex or you're taking a comat and you need to write down the anterior chapman's points this is the process you need to follow to make sure you can just get it down on paper as fast as possible and gobble up all those points on the test all right so step one you're going to want to draw 10 lines So we have our 10 lines, then we're going to draw the ribs on each side. This is the left. This is the right. Then next we're going to want to draw the bladder, then the pelvis. And draw two legs as well. And I know clearly these are very, very well, well drawn. What we're going to do is first we just want to label all of our levels. So now we have our levels, we're gonna go ahead and start placing the dots or our anterior Chapman's points. So we'll start from the top and then we'll go down. I'm gonna draw one here. And then next we're gonna start in this upper right corner here and we wanna draw dots in essentially a five-sided home plate kind of shape. You'll see what I mean. And from there, we're going to go down one space and fill in two here. Now, the one on this right side here is going to be one of six. So two, three, four, five, six. And from here, you're going to hop over one to here. Then you're going to go up two. All right. So that basically covers... All of our Chapman's points above this line 8. Next step, you're going to find line 10. One below line 10, one above, and then one higher, just like that. And then on 12, draw a spot there. And then next we're going to make a similar home plate kind of shape around the bladder. Two here. Okay. And then I'm going to draw a line here representing the IT band on the right, IT band on the left. Okay. So let's start filling this in from the top down. We've got the ear, nose, pharynx, tonsils, sinuses, and tongue larynx. This is going to be the heart. Directly to the left, this is going to be three things. It's going to be the bronchus, esophagus, thyroid. However you want to remember that, kind of your best call there. Do whatever you need to do. Moving down here, we've got upper lung, lower lung. We've got the liver. And since the liver is big, the liver is here, one below as well, but also it's paired with the gallbladder. Moving down once more, we have the pancreas. Now to this side. On the right, we have the pancreas. On the left, we have the spleen. And these two dots, or anterior Chapman points, represent the stomach. This is acid and motility. And then these, small intestine, same here, small intestine. Okay. This one here, 12, it's going to be the appendix. Now here we can kind of think anatomically, but it's going to be kidney, adrenal, because right, the adrenals sit right on top of the kidney, bladder right here, and then in the pelvis, this is going to be ovary slash urethra. Now the final point are going to be the Chapman's points located on our legs, or AKA the IT band specifically. So on the right leg, this will represent the ascending, A for ascending, and transverse colon. On the left, this will represent D for descending, and the sigmoid colon. Now the way that you can remember which leg has which portions of the colon is that if you 
look at the normal human anatomy. So for example, here's a neat little trick just to remember which anterior Chapman points correspond to what portions of the IT band. So for example, let me draw a quick little colon. All right, so finish that, finish drawing the colon and the two legs here. If you grabbed the ascending colon here and flipped it down, this is what portions of the IT band are going to correspond to the colon, if that makes sense. So right, so here's the arrows representing the direction that poo will go in your colon. So ascending on that right side, transverse on that right side, descending sigmoid on that left side. All right, well, I hope this helps everyone get all those points right on any complex or any comat exam.